five bedrooms, three baths. Um, other than the moat from the Nor'easter, it's a really nice house. I don't think you can beat the price for a little over a thousand dollars per week. Where can you go on vacation and get a five bedroom, three bath oceanfront? This is oceanfront house. So here we go. We'll just give you a little what it looks like when you look out from the, I guess you would consider this, I don't know, I guess this is the front of the house. Our bedroom is all the way on the top. It's got a deck off the master bedroom. So up top where that windows are and that peak, that's a master bedroom, bathroom. There's a little like um, hallway type thing, which is really, really nice with bookcases and computer desks. And then you go out to a door to that balcony. So I'll walk you around to the outside first. This water's gross. I can't believe it. I have actually, I, I wouldn't come back. I don't know. This is actually gross. But here's your deck. And when there's not water, so you have a gas grill floating. There's our moat. There's your walkway. Yeah, you can see. But you'd have to right now walk through water to go to the beach, which is up over the dunes there. So we'll go upstairs. And here we go. This is the first deck. There's the hot tub. You can see the kids are in the hot tub. House next door. You can go up to the next deck. So she's va she's vacuuming. Huh? All right. So the hot tub. What a private life. Uh, so there's a bedroom here, right here. There's another bedroom over here. There's a um, can't figure out, can't remember what this thing is called. Boy, I'm getting old. Is it Alzheimer's? I don't want to go in there because they are vacuuming right now. It's the other side of the house. You can see our moat again. So you are pretty close to house. The ocean is right over there. You got all the little balconies. We have our own private walkway. This is one bedroom. This is the one of the master bedrooms. Got a TV. Flat screen TV, which is nice. Closet. A nice dresser. Got some nice mirrors. It is all panel downstairs, which I know. It makes it dark for me. It doesn't come with linen. You have to pay extra for linen, so we brought our own linen. It comes with that comforter and, you know, pillows, but you have to have your own pillowcases and sheets and whatever. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll come back for that. This is cool. I haven't laid on it. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll go upstairs to the next deck. So you can go in this door here, which will come back out, I guess. But you can go upstairs to the next deck. It's got some nice deck furniture. Lots of it, so you can have a lot of people sitting around. And the view is fantastic. So you check in and you walk up here and it's like, ah, oh, wow. And when it's sunny and warm, the day we checked in, it was hot, it was beautiful. This was a great place to stay. We've been staying, coming to the Outer Banks for about nine years now. We've seen quite a few weddings taking place out here. We always get an oceanfront house. We did rent this house last year. The turn off this year is our little moat. So, I don't know. But some nice furniture. Nice big sliding glass doors. Window. You can see the house from the beach when you're out there at the top of the house. Oh, there's somebody out there in a wetsuit. Or it's a shark. No. No, he's uh, surfing. 
The waves are actually calming down from the storm. They were really, they should have been surfing the other day. So, so there you got a little surfing. So when it gets stormy, it does get rough. Pretty cool, huh? Wow. Looks like he's having a rough time surfing. So we did sit on that stool and it kind of fell apart. So I do have to report that to Hatteras. So here you come in. We got a nice dining area with 10 chairs. And this little case over here is just loaded with kids games, which was great. So you can see how nice it is up there. All the nice windows on the inside. Got a nice paddle fan. A nice big screen TV. Very comfortable house. You feel right at home. It's very clean. It's one of the cleanest houses we've stayed at. It's got ample seating. And it makes you feel good. What a cool lamp. They, ha they supply you with sur it's a surround sound and has internet connected to the TV. And they give you some DVDs. Of course, this, this is so complicated to work that they give you this whole big pamphlet on how to work their TV DVD area. But they give you some older DVDs, but you can bring your own. So, this is, they give you it. So we have a little table here. We've been doing some crafts for the week. So that turned into our craft table, which was nice, separate area. They like track lighting. We have a lot of track lighting. I like track lighting too. It makes it very bright when you want it to be. Nice big counter. Four people can definitely sit. You can put someone on the end. Kitchen is adequate. Blender, basically everything you need. Dishwasher, microwave, fairly nice refrigerator. They give you plenty, plenty of dinner plates. And everything's like nicely marked. I think the owner takes great care of this place. They mark where to put everything back. They do tell you don't put the plastic dishes in the microwave. And actually on the back of the plastic dishes they put do not microwave. So we, we kind of got a laugh at that, but I guess people would just put them in the microwave. Lots of glasses. Everything you need. Lots of cups. Lots of measuring stuff. I didn't do downstairs. Oh, they even give you cookbooks. You know, I never even looked up there. But cookbooks. Wow, that's pretty cool. And these are these are empty cabinets where we've just been kind of putting our own food in. Uh, and wine glasses. And I don't. Even, I think they're just fake. Maybe they're not. I think they are fake. Then you've got your drawers. They give you lots of pot holders, knives. Very well stocked. I don't think there was anything that was that we found we needed for cooking, for anything, I mean, right to, hmm. oh yeah, be nice to have a curate. I am so do not like these coffee pots anymore, but maybe the next time we come, they will have, I give you a little coffee pot. I didn't see that. I don't think I was in this drawer, but lots of just everything. There's a huge measuring cup there too, Steve, you were looking for. I don't think there is anything in this kitchen you want for it. Lots of pots, pans, um, it's, and everything was very clean. This, everything was nicely marked. You can make a pie, pie plates, and we made lasagna, and there was a nice lasagna plate for us. Nice bowls. So it's, it's very nice. Over here, oh, and it has wireless internet. So that was pretty nice. It didn't operate the one morning, but lots of games in here too, puzzles, and so they give you quite a bit. 
Here's your half a bath. Decent half bath, perfect. Okay, and you can go upstairs. So this is going upstairs to where I was telling you outside where there's the master bath. This is where Steve and I stay because we can stay up here and be away from everybody. That's nice. Somewhere where you can charge your computers, charge your telephones. We give you some nice selection of books. Even my granddaughter was reading the books. Yeah, well, I don't care about that. That must be the air conditioner. So, and then this is where I was saying you can go outside. If you can unlock the door. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put this phone right down here for the camera. Well, we're not going out because I can't get that door open. But I was out there, so I don't know why I can't get it open now. And here's the master bedroom. Nice TVs, a DVD player. Let's see, I don't have the lights on. I probably should turn them on. But you can see that was the driveway coming in. So this is looking out towards the street view. This is this bathroom. So, pretty nice bathroom. Okay, small shower, but it was adequate. Water pressure was a little low, um, but it was adequate. Nice cabinet, nice storage spot to put things if you want. It's clean. I, I even felt the car little carpets. I think that in between ha tenants, they wash them. It was very clean. Uh, I didn't feel skeeved out about even getting out on them. And you got a nice closet. Let me turn the light on over here. Paddle fan over the bed. Got nice big closet. They go in one side and out the other side. Big, long closet. Give you an extra blanket, extra pillows. Another extra blanket. So, lots of hangers to hang your stuff. I'm really annoyed I can't get out this door though. I'm gonna try this one more time. This is gonna be called the idiot who can't get out. Oh, yep. All you had to do was turn it the right way. So this is really nice. Look at this. Well, scary. You're up pretty high. But come out here and sit at night time. And nice loungers to sit on. Have a cup of wine, glass of wine. What a great place. Look at it. It's wonderful. Listen to the ocean. And there's somebody. Got two surfers out there. And the fishing people. And my son did catch a red drum. Pretty big red drum today. So it was really nice. Bunch of little fish off the beach. The pier is, is maybe a mile down. Um, so we are south of the pier. So the pier is probably a mile down, but it's closed because of the partial government shutdown. And this is national, you know, national seashore, whatever. Kind of silly, but that's the way it is. So we usually go on the fishing pier this year. We were unable to do it. So let's go back downstairs. I would recommend this house. Um, other than the few things I've said, the flooding underneath, but who? how many times do you get a nor'easter? Here we go. We go down stairs. And the downstairs is all paneling. It's not to my taste. It reminds me of being dark. But there is four bedrooms. So this is the front, you know, when you first walk up the steps, you come in the front door. You got a nice laundry room. So you got a washer and dryer. They even give you some baskets, which was kind of cool. Extra light bulbs in case you need them. A rack to hang your stuff. And then back in here, I don't know, some 
cleaning stuff, ironing board, iron. Basically, they give you everything you need. It's very nice. So this is one of the bedrooms. Of course, curtains are all closed, so it's really dark. That's what happens with 14-year-olds. They like the dark and the phone. So, and this has a nice closet. I like that fact you get extra drawers in the closets. It's really nice. And they give you hangers. Every closet has hangers and extra blankets. So, you can't beat that. Okay, that's bedroom number one. And across the hall is bedroom number two. This has two twin beds. This bedroom was actually not used. Uh, my daughter and her family could not come. So, same thing. I love these closets. And they all have the mirrors. Gotta have mirrors. Everybody needs mirrors and lots of hangers. And I love the extra drawers. That's, you can't beat it. So, really. Very nice. Everything's clean. This is the owner's closet, so they must keep their junk in there and it is locked. So here's the hall bathroom. This is nice, bright bathroom. Nice aqua glass type tub. I like the bowed shower curtain, so it makes it feel bigger. I wanted to see if there was a hanger back there. I mean a mirror, but there isn't. And the other bedroom, two bunks and a twin. So you can see how you can have a family in here. For a thousand dollars going on vacation. This one doesn't have the drawers, no! So, for a, a little over a thousand dollars, including taxes. And you have to buy food anyway. You just have to get here. And there is a vacuum cleaner on each floor, which is nice. So when you're done, you can just vacuum, because you do have to vacuum. That's what we're in the process of doing, is vacuuming. Oh, okay, we can't do that bathroom because my granddaughter's in there. That was, oops. So, that's it. Oh, okay, Sarah. So. This is Dolores, and that was my review on Que Sera, Oceanfront Avon Home Rental by Hatteras Realty. We've rented it two years now in a row. We rented it September last year and October this year. It's a little over $1,000, including taxes, in September and October. Great vacation. Can't beat it if you can get your kids out of a, out of school. We did the first week of October because the kids, my grandchildren, are from Kentucky, and they had um, some kind of fall break because they start school like you know way earlier than we do in New Jersey. So they had a fall break. They only had school Monday and Tuesday, so um, their parents took them out for two days, and we came to the beach. And depending on the weather, huh, what a vacation. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we were in the ocean. It was in the high 80s. Then we had our lovely nor'easter go through, and we've just been wading through water, which is disgusting. The Highway 12 was flooded, but whatever. Okay, so see you at the beach. Bye.